Oh my gosh, you guys. It is like a zillion degrees. Okay, it's not a zillion. It's like, I don't know, 84 degrees outside right now, but it's six o'clock. It is after six o'clock. In Southern California, it gets hot later in the day. I don't know what's worse, if it's warm in the morning or whatever, but not having air conditioning. This is gonna be a whole week of 80 something degrees and I am oh, not ready for it. But so, so, so thankful for the stove, for my air fryer, for the slow cooker, and also for the microwave. And yes, I use a microwave. I love Chef Mike, he's awesome, right? Anyway, thank you guys so much. It is really dark where I'm standing. So I'm gonna do this. Thank you guys so much for being here. And it is still like, I'm sorry, you guys. It is really bright and weird. Shut this. Oh my gosh. And then I don't know why this window is closed. I'll have to open it later. Um, welcome to episode 91. 91, you guys have been with me for 91 weeks. I am so impressed and so grateful. I just want to say thank you. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the questions that you guys send me. Hi friend. Thank you for trying the recipes that I um, suggest. And um, yeah, just thanks for wanting to make your meals happier and healthier. I just, it makes me so happy. So um, I'm gonna go ahead and wave to you. Um, I, uh, for episode 91, I'm gonna talk about seasoning your veggies. I know so many, even adults who do not like veggies. And you know what? I ask them, do you season them? And they say, no, I just have, you know, like a little bit of butter or a little bit of cheese. And it's like, no, you gotta use those seasonings, people. That's what makes everything bright and fresh. So um, I'm gonna let you in on a little secret after I talk about the veggies um, with another seasoning tip. And, um, and then I'm going to talk, talk to you about what I'm making for dinner and just kind of go step by step of what I'm making for dinner. Um, it's a little bit of a different format. I started it last week. I kind of like it. So I'm going to stick with it for a couple weeks and see if you guys like it. Um, so anyway, thank you again for being here for Happy Healthy Meals with Risa Auger. I am Risa Auger and this is my Facebook group where I share recipes and ideas and encouragement and sometimes some funny memes about food. <laughs> um, so uh, this is facebook.com slash groups slash happy healthy meals if you are wanting to get the recipes for everything that I post. Um, if you want to be on my email list and get even more information and links to helpful articles that back all this up, um, email me, Risa Auger at ymail.com. Yes, that is ymail.com, not gmail. Um, it was just, it's a Yahoo address. So Let's get to it. I love seasoning vegetables. And a couple of times last week, which was really strange, I got the same question from two totally different people. Um, and they asked me what my go-to seasonings are. And I kid you not, it is very small. I could probably count them all in one hand. Um, because I will say that pre-done blends are your friend. You find the ones you like and you go for it. And then you customize from there. That is one huge tip. And my second big tip is going to be at the end of this before we talk about our meals. Um, so honestly, I put garlic on everything. Um, I put Italian seasoning or Trader Joe's 21 day salute on everything, just about. Um, there's a new like smoky one that is like a 21 day salute, but it's smoky. I put that on a lot of stuff. Um, often I will swap out the paprika for smoked paprika, which just gives it a tiny bit of a different flavor, um, makes it really interesting, especially on meat, um, especially red meat, uh, like sausages, steaks, um, anything like that, uh, ribs. And that is just a good go-to. Um, oh, in tacos, it's really good to use the smoked one. I also use chipotle often in my tacos. Um, cumin is one of my go-tos and sometimes I use the seeds and sometimes I use the powder. Um, seeds are harder to find. I think I got mine, oh gosh, I got mine so long ago. It was either Sprouts or Whole Foods. Um, it might've been Amazon. I get a lot of my random spices that you can't find, um, on Amazon and, um, yeah, they're a little bit pricier, but you really don't use them very often and, or in mass quantities. So you're going to 
it's gonna last and it's gonna be worth the price. Um, and if it helps you eat your veggies, I say go for it. Um, go-tos, other go-tos, dill and paprika are a great combination. Um, a squeeze of lemon does an amazing thing to just about everything. Um, let's talk about things specifically. So if I'm going to make, let's say zucchini spears, I'm going to toss them in a tiny bit of olive oil and then I'm going to put them on the grill and I'm going to do, um, okay, sorry. I spray my pan and then I put on a little bit of seasoning on that pan and I let the seasonings warm up and that is huge. Um, and then I place my veggies or my meat and I do the same thing with veggies or meat and I place that in there and then I sprinkle on the same thing on the other side and then when you flip them everything is there but the heating of this the the seasonings makes the aroma bigger it makes the flavor bigger without doing anything without adding anything without it's just process it's just how you do it and so when they warm up like that they the flavor just is bolder and you know you may not like the taste of the veggies but you'll love the taste of that seasoning and so it's okay um, broccoli, I love just a little bit of garlic and some butter and, um, oh, uh oh, somebody came back from the pool. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I had more time. Um, let's see, I, cause I have broccoli in front of me. That's why I'm talking about it. And we're having zucchini. Oh, I'm having zucchini for lunch. I think tomorrow. Uh, let's see. Green beans, uh, a little bit of garlic goes a long, long way. And I'm not kidding. Like when you go to a restaurant, generally it is just garlic and butter. And that's why everybody likes them when they're at a restaurant, right? So add a little butter. Don't be afraid of that healthy fat. It is good for you. Um, unless you are vegan, butter is awesome. Uh, if you are not huge on butter, ghee is, a is another, it's clarified butter. Um, it has a tiny different flavor, has less cholesterol in it if you're worried about that. Um, but that's always, always good. Um, olive oil is beautiful to cook in. Um, or to use as a finisher. Sometimes I cook very lightly in olive oil and then I'll drizzle more on at the end and that gives it that like sheen that you kind of like. That's really nice. Um, and then you're not doubling up on your healthy fats. You're just using it the one time because it's at the end. Um, sesame oil is great at the end. Do not cook in it. Ow. Excuse me. Sorry. No. I don't think that that was an accident. Please go dry off and get dressed. Uh -huh. Mom likes. Yeah, good time. And I know all you moms are feeling me right now. Oh my gosh. Um, where was I? Oh, sesame oil. So switching up your oils works too. Um, switching up, you know, your your acid. Whether you're using a um vinegar or a like a lime juice, anything citrusy is fantastic. Um, I love switching up if I'm using something that I want it to be sweet. Sometimes I'll use orange juice, just a little bit, cause it's really sugary, um, instead of lemon or lime, right? Cause it gives it that sweet without adding sugar, without adding processed sugar. Um, sometimes I will splurge and I will buy flavored vinegars and that really helps too, cause you're adding that it's already soaked in that flavor. It already is like bursting with that flavor and you pour it on and it's really great. Uh, balsamic vinegar is great for that. Red wine vinegar. Okay. So like for instance, I went and I got this pomegranate vinegar. It's from Temecula olive oil company. And I was on vacation and I got a three pack. Um, I could drink this, but don't cause it's not good for you to do that. Um, <coughs> But you can pair that with lots of different stuff and just changing the vinegar and literally vinegar, oil, salt and pepper, if it's a flavor of vinegar, will help. Salt and pepper, always, always. So when I say I just use garlic, I really use garlic, salt and pepper, right? Because salt goes on everything at the end. Um, and always pink salt, pink Himalayan salt or um, sea salt because those are the ones that are good for you. Those are the ones that have minerals and good stuff. Um, they do not have iodine in them, like your table salts. So do not use table salt. Um, last resort table salt, but do not use it. Don't just like, just say no table salt. Um, what else? 
I could totally just pull out my spice thing and I could show you guys how many spices I have. Red pepper flakes I use often. Um, but seriously, my go-tos are garlic, Italian, with no salt in it. Um, ha I don't even really use taco seasoning because oftentimes, so often, so often, it has sugar or um, salt in it. Um, yeah, so Italian, which is really the 21 day salute from um, Trader Joe's, garlic, cumin every once in a while, um, some form of paprika, uh, red pepper flakes often. Oh, I got a fancy bottle, uh, or a fancy jar, sorry, of white pepper. That's really fun to play with. Um, Chinese five spice is fine. Turmeric in stuff is fun, um, and it helps your inflammation, which is good. Um, that's always fun. And curry is great with some coconut oil. Um, so my advice is go buy a bottle of seasoning and or a jar of seasoning and play with it. Try it. Try the ones that are like come in a set. Okay. Try, um, making broccoli on Monday with garlic and olive oil and a squeeze of lemon. And then maybe try making it on Thursday or Friday with um, some red pepper flakes and Parmesan and um, like oregano, okay? Because that's something that's in Italian seasoning. And I use the Italian seasoning so that I don't have to get out all five bottles of oregano, basil, whatever else is in it. Because um, I like simple and I just like to shake it really fast. Um, but every once in a while, I will pull out and just do thyme, just do oregano, just do... Um, whatever else is in there that I can't remember off the top of my head, I would have to get in this video and show you my armpits. Nobody wants that. So anyway, that is huge. Season your veggies, season them well, season them to something you like, add a tiny bit of cheese. Um, quick tip on the cheese is that Parmesan has a slightly salty taste. So if you add Parmesan, you don't have to add salt and you still get that taste. Good stuff, right? Especially if you're watching your salt. Um, so my big tip, my big tip is to season your salads. A lot of people don't. A lot of people will just use a squeeze of lemon and a tiny bit of um, olive oil and call it a day and they wonder why their salads are so boring. Guess what? You need seasoning. You need garlic. You need oregano. You need the thyme. You need the red pepper flakes on top. It is part of it. And everything tastes better with a little bit of seasoning. So um, I'm always asked to bring salad. Like, oh, who's going to bring salad? Risa is. You know I will bring salad. And you know it's going to be really good. You never know what's going to be in it. But you know it's going to be really good. And the reason that it's always really good is that I season my salads. Um, even if I'm using a pre-done ranch, I will add oregano on top of that. Um, it just bursts out that flavor and brings something fresh to it. And that's what makes them so good. So, um... And it makes them very different every night. So that even if we have a garden salad night tonight, which I don't do because I get bored, but if I have garden salad on Monday and garden salad on Thursday, it's gonna be slightly different and we're not gonna get bored with it. But we're still gonna get those greens in and those veggies in in a raw state because you need a little bit of raw and a little bit of cooked in every meal, right? So that brings me to dinner tonight. Dinner tonight is going to be kind of a shakushula, but with rice. I don't know if that makes sense. So shakushula is like a seasoned tomato um, skillet bake. And then you put eggs on top and bake it in the skillet. You can put it in the oven to bake it faster. Um, I usually, like tonight, that's not happening because it's so hot. So I'm going to leave it in the skillet. So I um, made rice a couple days ago. And it already has tomatoes in it because I put it in it before. But anyway, so I have this brown rice mix. I'm going to put it in some tomatoes, diced tomatoes, and I like the diced tomatoes because they're a little bit juicier than fresh tomatoes. Um, I keep the juice in. I'm going to um, sort of quote unquote fry the rice a little bit and then pour the, the um, tomatoes on top of it. I'm going to season it and then I'm going to crack eggs over it and let that all bake together. While that is cooking, I'm going to chop some broccoli and some beets and I'm, we're going to have a broccoli beet salad um, probably with a little bit of feta and that's going to have some Italian seasonings in it. The sh uh, shakushula is going to have more like Moroccan. So it's going to have a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cumin, a hit of cinnamon, um, which I don't know is Moroccan or not, but I always do it and it tastes really good. So we just keep doing it. Um, there are some kits to doing shakushula, but I like doing it fresh because it's super fast and super easy. 
um, as you can tell, literally, it is onions, which I already have made, it's in the rice, so that's why I'm not doing them. It's like onions, tomatoes, and then you put the eggs on top and you sprinkle a little cheese if you want to. And that's it, and it's amazing, it's so good. Um, having it for breakfast, if you do potatoes instead of rice, it's great for breakfast, just so you guys know. Thanks, friend, I'm glad you think that sounds really good. Um, anyway, so that's what I got for you guys tonight. I posted my meal plan for the week earlier today, um, and then make sure to check back every day for some really fun, interesting stuff and recipes for part of the meal every night. If you want more information on the meals, let me know. Um, gosh, my hair is just awful today. I don't, I, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, but that's it, you guys. Uh, enjoy your dinner. I hope this inspires you to make something yummy for Meatless Monday and season your veggies. Don't forget to season your veggies. Um, if you are not part of this Facebook page, as in not someone who's live right now, um, join my Facebook page, facebook.com slash groups slash Risa Auger, I mean, slash Risa Auger, slash happy, healthy meals. And um, shoot me an email if you want to be on my email list. Share this with a friend. Invite a friend to the Facebook group with you. Everything's more fun with friends. All right, that's it. Have a great week. Thanks, guys. Bye.